We're recording. Are we? Yay. Fantastic. Or is it? So why have we been gone? Well, Heather is now with the Department of Justice. Yeah. Doing fetal infantile, what is it? <sighs> or no, what, toxic shock syndrome? I don't remember. Is it the tampons one or the baby with the tampons one? Both. That's right. And then you are doing the same thing you've always done, Nothing. buying guitars and yelling Snapping. at people. Yep. And I became self-employed without even wanting to. <laughs> self-employed by duress. Yeah. It has a, we were just talking. What has it been? We think it's been over a year. At least. Yeah. You know, we only get like 80 or 90 of those, so that's a long time. Yeah. Fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. And you and me, my friend, we are more than halfway there. Ugh. Ugh. What to life or to what's next? Yeah, with what's next. What was your next thing? There's nothing. <laughs> uh, napping. No, nap. The nap that never gets interrupted. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, no clay standing over here going, hey, hey, I decided to drop by. Yeah. Yeah. It's- waking up because you have that feeling of someone staring at you eating taco bell dripping down their face and yeah with a beer in one hand and a beer in the other hand yeah what why do i feel like someone's staring at me girl how long have you been staring at me i'm like not long 20 minutes no you know that's a long time for me anywhere you know i have a, a short attention span theater oh is that copyright no short attention span theater Short, short attention fan. You know what we should do? I probably already did this one. I want to open a store called OnlyFans. And it's just like different types of air conditioning units, fans. Somebody's already done that. I did it. I mean, we're using my own shit. Literally, somebody already did Uh, that. What else could we open that's uh, like a... Well, we we have only pets or only pettings. I can't remember. Only pettings? You're all, wait a minute. Only heavy petting. Yeah, only heavy petting. (laughs) And then we have like only pets. Uh, so like a guy shows up, he's like, "Hey, I'd like to like uh, touch a girl's breasts, <laughs> rub on her crotch, and then yeah. leave sexually frustrated." They're all fifty nine ninety nine. He's yeah. like, "God, you guys have gone up since my youth. Um, it used to cost me forty nine ninety nine. Only fans pets. I think we have only fans pets. Yeah, that rings a bell. What were yeah, some no. other examples?" Yeah, I can't remember the rest of them. I can't remember either. Damn it. We'll come it's, up with some It's more. over on my other computer, and I don't want to walk over there. Oh, not three feet away. Well, then I have to get off the mic and take the headphones off and everything else. Oh, I think our microphone is pretty good. We're uh, at our own houses. Well, yeah, I'm we're, at my wife's house. And you're, you're in the basement at your mom's house. We're streaming. We're streaming live. Are we really? Yep. Well, all four of you out there, welcome to microphone therapy. We got to figure out how to do uh, live streaming so people can come and make fun come of us and make fun of us. Welcome to microphone therapy reinvigorated. Brought to you by We're Not Allowed to Say Viagra. So that's why I'm saying my words. How do I get live viewers? How do you get like, is it, is there such a thing? How do I get live viewers? Wait a minute. Do I have to have my clothes on? Clothing is optional or just high heels? I don't know. What's the play? Can I hold a skull in my hand? Oh, you can do whatever you want. God, you say that a lot, but you know what? The, the, the police say otherwise, you know, that is wrong. true. Yeah. That Sting comes true. by. He's like, you can't do that. And then I don't know the names of the other guys. It doesn't matter. Sting. He had a great acting career. I really like him in Dune. He was in um, Only Murders in the Apartment or whatever the fuck it is with Steve Martin and Martin Short. I didn't see He that. was considered a suspect. Huh. But did he, he do well? The house. Yeah, he was pretty good. I he's Most of those guys are pretty natural actors. Yeah. Even uh, Adam Sandlerberg. No, I'm afraid to say anything, and not, I don't want to get sued. Sued for what? I Saying don't know. his name? I could. Can he? What would he sue me for, though? He's like, 
three dollars. No, I don't have that much money. You're insane. <laughs> He'd sue me for. Uh, uh, yeah, there, there's nothing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> now you know what I I totally wrote Sandler off after I watched Ridiculous Six. Like I'm done with Adam Sandler because this movie is fucking dumb. Oh, I, I was done with him back on like Click. And uh, well, yeah, that too. But and I mean, like English. this. This completely solidified it. And then he did something like the last five Adam Sandler movie. Yeah. Did you know there's a guy named Kurt Jurgens? No, but that's a good fucking name if you're, a, I don't know, either yogurt salesman or a porn star or both. Yeah. What's his uh, name? Jerk Kurgens? Kurt Jurgens. Kurt Jurgens. Hey, Kurt. How he's, are you? He's dead. I'm Clay Cummings. He's Seriously. Here. No, I'm not kidding. That's really my name. He died in 1982. He doesn't get what did he die of shame. Uh, <laughs> his name, his name. Uh, they're like, he's like, don't put my name on my fucking resting place. I was don't. looking. He was, oh, he was in the spy who loved me. Really? James Bond movie. Yeah. The spy and, uh, who loved me. and a bunch of other movies anyways. And I just, I was doing some movie stuff and some research and shit like that. And I came across. I was like, "God damn, that's a that's a name." Kurt Jurgens. Kurt Jurgens. That's why you love me. And I thought it was a made up, like a stage name, because I was gonna, I was gonna, well, I can steal it. Cause, like you Dirk, know, he's dead. D- Dirk Jagler. Yeah. Dirk Scutmeyer. That's a that's a real person. That was my friend Damon Tomier's attorney when he's getting divorced. Dirk. So I went and saw my attorney today, Dirk Scutmeyer. I was like, "Wait a minute, what did you say?" I never that's listened. to him. I was like. Wait a minute. What, oh, Dirk Scutmeyer, you say? What a strange name. <coughs> that wasn't Yoda. That was yogurt. Oh, we're still getting sued. That was from uh, that Jew mill practice is going to get all pissed off now. Yeah. His j- other Jew friend died. Oh, yeah. Uh, that, that's too bad. I like that Jew. Carl. Carl. Carl yeah, Reiner. Carl. That's the one. That's the one. Funny, was, funny fucking guy. Funny as fuck. Wasn't he in uh, the Mary Lou Retton show? No, that's, <laughs> never mind. I give up. That's the Olympics. The she's Mary, dead too. No, she's she, dead too. Ran her fucking self to death. No, she did. She, oh, not Mary Lou Retton. She's still alive. Who's the other one? Jack or Joni Kersey. Dead. Probably. Fastest woman on earth at one point. There's a... Um, I'm looking up Adam Sandler. Hold on a second. Adam Sandler movies. There we go. You know who the fastest woman on earth is now? Uh, I don't know. I don't either. Well, that's a cliffhanger. Yeah. Shall we find out? No. Hey, Siri. Uh-huh. 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 Who's the fastest woman on earth? Lawrence Griffith Joyner has held the record for the fastest wow. for more than 30 years. What do you know? This answer is from healthline.com. Oh, it's a fake answer. That's yeah. Donald Trump's uh, exercise uh, website. It's so rough, so rough Adam rough. Sandler did a bunch of bullshit movies, and then he came out with fucking uncut gems. Oh, I'm glad you brought that up. That God movie made me so right. uncomfortable, I had to turn it off. And then, And then he did Murder Mystery. Murder Mystery 2. Oh, I did watch those. Um, the ones on the boat? I, yeah, I guess so. They are. Hustle. Russell? He's in Russell? No, Hustle. Hustle. And then he did... Uh, there it is. Sandy Wexler. That sucks. And you've got them all fucking out of order. Sandy Wexler was... I'm not, I don't give a fuck about order. No. I'm just That movie sucks dick. That movie is really fucking good. That movie is really fucking good. I'm going to watch it right now. Is it really um, good? And Yeah, from what I understand. Huh. You because know what movie is really, plays, really uh, good? Bumblebee. But anyways, continue. He, he played a he played an agent, yeah, a Hollywood agent. Yeah, like in Spies and, Like Us? No. Oh, not at all. And it's, it's, it's based off of a very popular Hollywood agent that people basically just blacklisted and it's, he got rave reviews and I'm, I'm pissed because 
I fucking wrote Adam Sandler off until I saw Uncut Gems, and now I'm like, I'm kind of back on the Adam Sandler bandwagon. Oh, really? And it really annoys me. Well, it's annoying me, too. Did you know that one of Adam Sandler's ears has like a paper thin laceration all the laceration in the sense that he was born with it um all the way through his ear like he gets like like if you turn his head a certain way like light would shine through you'd be like oh or you might not be like that's one the hills are alive with adam sandler's earlobes sorry my voice is a little hoarse <clears throat> too much uh cough syrup or not yeah. really. Ah, uh, uncomfortable silence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did Ridiculous Six and he did Pixels. It was those two movies that it was just like, you no. Know, What's Pixels? The like Pixels part is like. Pixels is a movie that's okay. So, like in 2011, this guy made <laughs> a. Uh, like a, he, he he did a riff on what the Simpsons did from yeah. from one of the Simpson Halloween specials where um, all the uh, Atari games and stuff like that, all the eight bit and sixteen bit games from our youth came down and 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 even this Dig case, well, uh, <laughs> it was uh, the idea behind it was. The Simpsons had to get into a tank and shoot down the space invaders. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then I think it defeat Donkey Kong. Well, anyways, this guy took impossible. That, yeah. Took that idea and did like a, a independence day type of short where yeah. um, aliens invaded earth, but they were all the, the, the video game guys. Right. Mm -hmm. And it was amazing. It was all computer generated. And then a studio bought that idea and then turned it into pixels and it hmm. sucked. Interesting. Two questions. Was Metroid in the game? And before you answer that by saying no, it was. was oh, Metroid was? Yeah, there was a piece where uh, they showed some of the Metroid stuff. Second question Who the fuck is Metroid? I never played that game. Metroid is a female, and it's just a basic. It's oh, a advanced version. It's a hormone. Of, yeah, it's um, a hormone in a robot suit with a gun. Yeah. Okay. Kind of like Mega Man, but All not. Right. All right. Second question. To the first power. Was Qbert involved in any way, and did he help with the power bill? I don't know. Okay. He was involved. Space Invaders, Pac Man, Frogger, Frogger, Fraga. Galaga, Donkey Kong. Minor 2049er? Just kidding. Uh, no, because that one will be a deep cut. I keep forgetting. Only you know, like, the most, like, they made four copies of it. Only yeah, you I used and to Joe. Did you really? Yeah. That, wasn't a, that wasn't a bad game. I bad. had that on Atari. <laughs> Hang on. <clears throat> Goddamn emphysema. I have it on Atari. I had it on Atari 7200. You know what's a major letdown is when you have ColecoVision. Coleco Vision, and then your parents for their, your next system get you Atari seventy two hundred, maybe it's fifty two hundred. I don't know, but I was like, "Fuck this!" I just stopped. we had like River Raid, yeah, Activision. some some space game that made no sense where you like slip cards into the. Uh, I I was like, "What the f this? What the fuck? This, this doesn't even do anything." And then uh, what else do we have? I don't remember River Raid. I remember we would press the stick and just go as fast as we can at the end and just crash into everything. Yeah. And then sooner or later, we did it so much we could actually get through the fucking, you know, where the cliffs are all like the wings are almost touching. We could actually get through that shit. Yeah. Now, what could we have done with our lives if we had taken that time and invested it in our homework? Who knows? <laughs> I may have passed through. Where, where would we have been? Where would we have been? <laughs> yeah. I had, uh, I had minor 2049er and then, um, uh, uh, pitfall. Yeah, I had that. Hangman. Mm, I didn't have that, but I knew people. You know, friends. 
I've played it. It's yeah. If you had to go back out of the original system and play any of the games and you could only pick like one or two or three, what would they be? Well, the first one would be Yars Revenge. I've always loved that game. I don't even know what that is. Uh, basically, you you're a, a you're a space exterminator. You're killing mm -hmm. space bugs. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Pitfall would be another one. Yeah, Pitfall is good. And third one, I don't know. That one's usually like a toss up between like uh, Decathlon. Oh, I was gonna say the airplanes one. <laughs> Yeah. Could you even get a machine gun? That was basically, that was probably on the Pong platform. The airplanes one? No. Pong was Pong. Oh, whatever. I disagree. Um, so, to finish my, to finish one thought ever, the next system we got was Nintendo. And we were like, what the fuck is this? This is badass. Even the game it came with, we were like, we'll just play this. Fuck, we're good. But of course, being spoiled upper middle class white kids, we immediately unwrapped Mike Tyson's Punch Out, Excite mm -hmm. Bike. Yep. I think the shooting game, Duck Hunt, came with it. Yeah. That wasn't that didn't get a lot of play. I played the shit out of Russian Attack. Is that a shooter game? Uh it's a side scroller game. Mm. And it was fucking it's difficult. Mm. Like that's a game that, like most kids would just throw throw the entire fucking Nintendo, like out I, a two story window, like I you did know, with Marvel Madness. Yeah, I'm like, this is this. No one could like the kid in Super. I'm like, hey, what? It'd be a little more fun if you could fucking win. I can't fuck this. That's what. I don't think I could get past the third one on Marvel Madness. There should have been like, oh, yeah, Sammy Lightfoot. There should have been like different settings of uh, difficulty on Marvel Madness, like regular, which is impossible, regular light, which is like you can win a couple levels and then like badassery where it's just super easy, but you win the whole game. And then like you tell your friends, like you were on super badassery and you're like, fucking A, I was. There was an Apple 2G, 2G, 2E game. About beer, really? I can't remember the name of it. Like, I want to call it Artisan Well. Let's call Chantel. She'll tell you what it's called. She's drinking uh, Natty Ice and smoking Camel uh, Lights right now. Probably. And somebody's like, "Oh my God, is she gonna stop talking?" No offense, Chantel, but she are doesn't. you gonna stop talking ever? No, you're not. You're she talking talk right now. Me. She doesn't talk to you. No. Oh, she what? Doesn't. How'd you pull that off? She unfriended me. She did? What'd you do? I don't know. Oh. Said hi to her. Weird. Uh, yeah. Huh. Strange. It's okay. It's I wish okay. her all the best. You wish what? I wish her all the best. No, no, no harm, no foul. <laughs> no, seriously. I'm I'm with you. I would I was a fucking not a very good friend. <laughs> Her house is where I like she had all that belly dancing shit and I would just knock all the shit off the wall. <laughs> yeah, you mentioned that. I did I like oops. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, she uh I I it just got to the point where you know she's she's her own person. She's you know, she's a fucking hippie Ah uh liberal. Well, I don't know. Ah! Talk a lot. <laughs> ah! Um, she, you know, she's the creative type, if you want to call it that. Painter, just kind of. Can I read your tarot cards? Yeah, go yeah. ahead. I'll be at my house. Yeah. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that. She's, she's. There's nothing that's how she. It. There's nothing wrong with any of it. There's nothing yeah. wrong with being a boy trapped in a girl's sneaker and then turning into a cat there's nothing wrong with it yeah she's like if if bobby were to go one step further bobby in her yeah which one's bobby that? Miller. if bobby. she were to go one step further in her like in her hippie oh dome. yeah bobby bobby is close at times so but i can i can i can hang with bobby 
Cause yeah, like, but, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Bobby's like, look what I'm making out of these feathers and this, these rocks. And, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah look, yeah. Look at that. Nobody gives a fuck. Yeah. The, so it, we, I don't it, give it, a fuck. It, I don't give a fuck what I'm making out of black spray paint. So how, how the fuck am I going to give a fuck what you're doing? You know what I mean? It, if Bobby were to level up, she would turn into Chantel. I know. That's what I mean. Like, how do we say this politely? If Bobby were to go rafting and get trapped underwater for just like a little bit too long, <laughs> she would be asphyxiated from oxygen. That's all I'm saying. That's all. That's all I'm saying. And then she might talk more. Maybe. That would be more talking and then I don't know depending on the subject matter there'd be more to listen to <laughs> that's all that's well, all sir that's all sir that's all I've got for you yeah it's now one thing that is really exciting about the return of microphone therapy reinsurgence is we're going to actually have topics and subjects and we're actually going to discuss them maybe for more than five minutes <laughs> maybe <laughs> depends on if we go off on a fucking tangent or not well you gotta be kind of kind of hard not to with all this easy subject matter can you come up with any easy subject matter right off the cuff yeah you paid so the stuff? guy that created dilbert yeah programmed an Atari the uh the Atari 2E version of the adventures of Bakaru Banzai across the eighth dimension. As a as a Atari cartridge for the original system? For the Apple IIe. Did I say Atari? Oh Apple IIe. Now I don't even know that system. So this is an Apple computer that you played games on or yeah. a video game system by Apple. Yeah. Both? If that's the same guy. No, I'm asking you where what was this? Uh, what was the hardware on this one? Uh, not the same guy. Are you going to answer me? I'll look it up myself. I well, won't. say that again. You're saying Apple IIe, and I'm wondering, is that a computer or is that a video gaming system that I miss because I never it's a computer. afford it? It's a computer. The Apple yeah. IIe, which is clearly probably dated and cannot be updated or supported by Apple at this time, although you can probably yeah. find everything you need on the uh Internet Archive software. Um, have you been on there? We talked about this. Ladies and gentlemen, the Internet Archive software mm. data bank. Go there now and find all the stuff that you've forgotten about and really don't want anymore but can still get for free. Yeah, okay. So there's a, there's a game called Beer Run. Beer Run. It was a tie-in with Olympia. No shit. Yeah. I had that game. I've had Olympia. Yeah, so have I. Is it you know what I like, though? Schlitz. What? Do you? I yeah. don't know if I've had Schlitz. I've had Paps Blue Ribbon, and that's actually popular now. Well, yeah, it became popular because well, you can fucking buy and download it. Cool. When, when I was a kid in high school, we drank a bunch of uh, my buddy Matt's dad's Paps Blue Ribbon. And he was like, my dad's got some Pat's Blue Ribbon. And I was like, does your dad hunt? Like, I, I was like, that's all I could associate. It was like complete redneck. I never even heard of it, but I was like, right there. It's like right next to the can of hams. And uh, I guess Olympia would fit right in there too, huh? Hams, Olympia, PBR, which is now, uh, well, in a contemporary uh scenario pbr is rockabilly badass uh drinking downtown with your friends beer shooting pool yeah listening to oh i don't know probably Leonard skinner yeah uh, i was gonna say that yeah, Leonard molly hatchet yeah no molly hatchet's going back to the first thing no hank williams jr name one hank williams jr song i can't uh all my rowdy friends don't even know that one. Can you sing a little bit of it for me? No, I can't. I'll try. No, All my can't. rowdy friends. That's probably not far off. Have you heard Drunk on a Plane? 
Um, I probably have. There's a tear in my beer. You never heard about that? No, but I've heard take a drunk girl home. Whiskey Whippers bent and hellbound. Well, now you're sounding like a ZZ Top cover, maybe. That's that's a Hank Williams Jr. song. OD'd in De Denver. My name is Bo Cephas. No. Haven't heard that one. Good friends, good whiskey. I've done that one. Bad friends, bad whiskey. Done that one. Uh, gonna go hunting tonight. Blah, blah, there, blah. there it is. Gonna go hunting tonight. Brought to you by Paps Blue Ribbon. Gonna go hunting tonight. You know who I don't like? Randy Travis. Randy? Tra well, you know why? He's got two first names. Well, that. I just never liked him. I, I can't. Yeah, I've not, I was. Ne country used to be the one where I was like, do people, do you like music? Yeah, what kind? All of it except country. Yeah, Hank, Hank Williams Jr. is not really country country. He's more rock country. He was a little bit rock and a little bit country before it was a little bit country and a little bit rock and roll. Yeah. Did I tell you? <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> did I tell you on the Internet Archive I did find some sort of weird new music and I downloaded some of it. I forgot about it until just now. I, there's some genre of music and I'm just going to look up what it's called because I was like, what is this? Uh, except now I can't get in my computer like I used to because you worked on it so I don't know where to find it. How do I get the downloads? D O uh, N you downloads downloads file folder i'm so sophisticated i put a downloads file folder in my downloads file folder called all the way down so what was this kind of music called it doesn't say i'll have to go to the internet archive i am so not getting that what are you shopping for i'm looking up cartoons Oh, good. I opened 365 again. Fuck you. How do I get rid of this icon? Unpin from task bar. It's that easy? Jesus. Yep. Fuck. Why did that just suddenly work? I've been trying to, like, I just, my life just got better by doing that. How do I get online? Click the circle. Oh, I'm having difficulty. Okay. We're back over here. Reduce. Move expand I'm talking to my penis right now and we're back up no nope, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be me um got it saved right here we're in the archive and we are looking 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 where oh boy it's a subfolder inside a subfolder this could get really kinky i just want to be able to talk to you about what the type of genre of music was called so I'm going to have to try to remember where I was. Uh, was it in community spirituality or Islamic sermons? No. Grateful Dead. Why do they have their own category? That's weird. Privilege, privilege fingers. I don't even want to know what that is. Social media videos. No, thanks. Uh, the magazine rack, that's pretty cool, ladies and gentlemen. Go into the Internet Archive and look at any magazine you've ever looked at ever again. Okay. Not every magazine. A lot of them. Oh, fuck. What? No, they don't have that one. Dang. No. Software library. Uh, Internet oh. Archive. Oh, like I got tripped out. Internet Arcade. Not to be confused with the Internet Archive. Internet arcade within the internet archive the library of congress what's that the library of congress hmm. i'll take a look at that another time after i die microfilm you're like i swear to god his name was leo getz and he got arrested in 1980 there you go that's a movie no i'm looking it up on microfilm right now speed runs What's that? They have a picture of Mario with a tube hanging out of his nose. Speed runs. I can't help myself. Let's look. No. What is metadata? It says search metadata. Search text contents. That's search your wife's purse. 
<laughs> all of the above. Those are the those are the options. Metadata is the stuff that's behind the screen, the the, the website that you're looking at. It's all related to Metroid or no? No. Not at all. Okay. No. Robocop? No. Okay. Bummer. How did I find that weird thing? They have a whole area dedicated to Japanese animation. And several million people have been in there. It shows yep. you. It shows you. Oh, that's, that's the items. That's the items. Uh, pardon me. They have the Iraq War Collection. Ooh, Interesting. That sounds fun. Worth taking a look at. Oh, fuck. If that's the second time you've said that. You're giving me, oh, fuck, deja vu. Uh, Boston Public Library. They've got it here. Boston. Boston. A lot of Kennedy stuff, huh? Comic books and graphic novels, ladies and gentlemen. A whole area dedicated to you looking at copyright material on your computer that would otherwise cost you between $15 and $30. Short format films. That's There's probably all kinds of content in there. CD-ROM images. Just the image. None <laughs> of the, just the image. In case you're like, what did the front of that disc look like again? computer magazines so there's a lady that recorded like every fucking tv show ever from for like 20 years straight or 30 yeah. years straight <clears throat> yeah and, and she she um spent the next gave 20 it years. to the internet archive yeah and they're digitizing all that stuff and putting it on into their uh, uh system right and the, of course, the Internet Archive is also at this point getting sued by a bunch of people, a bunch of media companies yeah, for uh, copyright infringement. Now, how are they going to get around that one? What? The copyright infringement. Get a good uh, lawyer like Johnny Cochran. Yeah, how are they going to get around that? Oh, here's another example. I'm in the... Uh, I'm in the... Uh, See, I already forgot the name of it. I'm in the audio <laughs> file collection. So how can I get past? I went right past Tupac and clicked on the best of the door CD. I probably listened to this 500 times. Now, before I get ahead of myself, and let's not be behind on this, it's just little blurps of the songs. You can't listen to the whole thing. 30 seconds of each, which in this case, for some might be enough. Yeah. I know a lot of people are like, I do not like the doors. I don't like, well, I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't, I don't like the doors. See, there it is again, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, and that's weird that you bring that up. Cause, um, like I like a couple of their songs. You know what it is, is there, that's the keyboard. Oh, hang on, hang on. Time out. Holy shit. Now what? Did you drop where, did this, where did this plug in? Hang on, Mike. I can't hear a thing. Oh my God. I'm deaf. Uh -huh. I'm back. I lost my headphones. Oh, it fell out again. Fuck. Did I break it? Probably. Stay out of Did my you? shoe. Oh, we're good. A lot of cords in here. A lot of cords. If you could see this, you'd probably get nervous. Are you cordrophobic? No. No, really. Come on over. Check this out. There are often times I'm like, I'm going to bed. And I'm like, she just finds me in a pile of cords in the morning. Just my hands sticking out. She's like, baby. I'm like, what? It's like you're stuck in the cords again. I'm like, I know. Get me out. That's it. That's all I got. She gets me out of the cords and we just go on and it happens again. Backstreet Boys. They sold a whole bunch of albums and God damn it if I can understand why. Rap. There's a CD just called Rap. I just took my shoes off in here and. Mm -mm. Not good, not good. I've been I'm on day three of uh, no shower. Potentially not getting water and soap on me. Had these shoes on, walking in the rain, drying oh. out, walking in the rain, walking in the rain, drying out, walking in the rain, and now it smells like a, a cadaver in here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you may want to. You may want to check your feet. I might want to uh, chop my feet off and get robot feet. It's a risky operation, but I think it's worth it. Do robot feet stink? I don't know. 
I don't know either. How do we find out that? Hey, Siri. Do robot feet stink? Okay. I found this uh, on the web for do robot feet stink. All right. Check let's, it out. Let's, you check it out. Let's see what it says. It says, uh, oh, it's in that Reddit thing that we love so much. We're going to stay in Chrome. My, my phone must be dying. I can hardly see this. Uh, says. Uh, Quote, like the high heavens. Uh, I can barely read this. Uh, I tell you, we got a new cat. Another new cat? What's the one cat called? Moonbeam? We have three cats. Okay. And we have Moo and we have Olive and we have a one-eyed cat called Popeye. Yeah, well, everybody's got that. That's like having the dog with three legs called Tripod. Everybody's got a Popeye. There's one of those in every neighborhood. And we think that she's a Maine Coon. And she is eight months old and weighs almost 12 pounds. How do you know she's eight months old? Did she come with ID or something? Uh, yeah, they they um, check the rings around her asshole. Yeah. How, how do you know? Exactly. Well, they did like a blood test on her. Oh, you did. Yeah. Well, according to her blood, she's uh, eight months old. Yeah, and she's as big as the other cats now. Oh. Yeah, she's fucking huge. Huh. She ain't tiny kitty anymore. You're not tiny kitty anymore, are you? Boy, this is getting weird. Meow. And and she's got like a sinus problem. So when she breathes, she sounds like she's wheezing all the time. Oh. <laughs> so she's a tabby. <laughs> and when I do that, she looks at me like, what color is she? She is calico. Oh, a calico. I used to have one of those. So orange and white and kind of a mustardy Black. thing. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I like those cats. Calicos are good. Uh, it turns out that my favorite of all are the tuxedos. Tuxedo cats are kind of cool. They're very vocal. Oh, oh, oh. You're following, kid. Have you ever seen the cover of Britney Spears' first album? Uh, no. Looks like she's ten. Should I? Yeah, take a look. You, who would have ever thought she's going to turn into a big drug addict slut with financial? Uh, what was the deal? Oh. She couldn't have any of her own money or something. Like you're like, no, you're gonna spend it on drugs. Oh, there's the cat purring. Yeah. Nice. He's my finger. Oh, the soundtrack to uh, Terminator 2. You Terminator. Could be, you could be mine. You could be mine. <laughs> that was a cat. <laughs> that was my cat. Holy cow. Wow. Jesus Christ. She grabs onto the microphone like she's going to. Jesus. You can't talk. Listen you know how to talk. Listen to those vocal cords grind. <laughs> you know what? I just realized I've still got this on the big speakers. My wife's probably like, fuck you. What the hell is that sound? Let me turn this off. Ow. Now just the succulent, <laughs> echoey sound of my own voice and your cat's vocal cords grinding against your crotch. Oh, uh -huh. you can't just. Do that. Oh, tubular bells. This album made Robin possessed. Possessed? Yeah. He's like, I'm gonna go to sleep after like we partied for I don't even know how long. I was like, all right, I'm gonna get and he was like, ah, he's like coming off the side of his dresser, and like his feet were on the dresser because his bed was so close. And I'm like, what the fuck is happening? He's like, just sleep <laughs> on that other couch over there. After like a two hours, I was like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. So I left, and it was raining super hard in my Mini Cooper, and I crashed into the center of fucking the street divider thing out in North Highlands off of Hillsdale and was like, Jesus fucking Christ. Pulled over. The only It was raining so hard, the only place to pull over was Starbucks. So I go in there. I'm soaking wet. Everybody's like, I don't know, drinking coffee or ordering coffee or just, I don't know. And I was like, can I use the bathroom? And they were like, Handing me the fucking Starbucks key, which had like, I don't know, some. I, I don't remember what it was. I don't remember what it was. It was just it, the whole place was like, I was like, just f if you go to Starbucks, fuck you. 
you're just you're it's not gonna last forever i drive by there they're lined out into the street it's just like it's the thing right now but it'll get replaced just like everything else right like what was it before starbucks uh-huh I mean, at one point it was In and Out Burger. Everybody Jamba wanted, Juice, uh, Jamba Juice. Yeah, yeah. Until everybody found out it's just sugar, which is that's all Starbucks is too. Everyone, when they say, "Would you like whipped cream and sprinkles on this?" It's sugar. Yeah, sugar. Give me a cup of water with sugar. Your skin is hanging off of you. Sugar. What's that from? I don't know. Come on. I don't know. Men in Black. No. Yes. You're right. Sublime. Boy, that has been played probably more than any other album. Ugh. That I don't not really uh uh-uh, not really fan. I'm not a fan. No. Them and Blink one eighty two. Fuck them. And fuck no doubt. And I've never heard this band in my life. Rock set. I've heard of them, never heard them. Not bad. What do they do? Like uh type pop. Of like pop? Yeah, it's pretty much pop. Like Bowie type shit or mm, more new wave. Oh, okay. You I'll may see. like them. I might. I might. I, I know they have an album cover with a a girl walking a like a tiger down the street or something. I was like, that's pretty cool. I always figured they were like uh kind of like that um what was it, the Velvet Underground? What are they like? Uh, kind of art rock, maybe? I don't know. Probably way off. Something you'd hear at Studio 54. Huh. Or Area 53. Yeah. Or Forever 21. You know, you pick. Well, I can't find that music. I can't find what it was called. And I'm bummed out. I, here's Travis Scott's album. He hasn't done much since that satanic, uh, uh, the blaming him for people dying at his concert thing, has he? Or maybe he has, but who knows? Maybe he's made another Kaskillion dollars. Maybe. Here's another Britney Spears album. Okay, so in this one, it's got to be for, oh, 2013. So she's basically a total whore in this one. Totally different look. She's got this look like, I know where all the drugs are. Uh, she's got her face pressed against a wall. And actually, maybe she's just trying to hold herself up at this point. And then, funny enough, if you go down one one album, it's the essential John Denver. And it he looks very similar to her in this. I might have to take a picture and send this over. You'll see what I'm talking about. I mean, they could almost be the same person. And both of them, uh, hardcore drug addicts. They found cocaine and Jack Daniels in his system when he crashed his airplane in the ocean. And uh, if you were to test her right now, they, you'd find cocaine and it's probably all the same shit. She didn't clean up, did she? No. No, come on. All right, let's see if I can get a picture of this. Here's John. I sent John over first. You may you may go, that's not John. That's. Well, let me just do a video. Let's make this easy. We'll do this in... Uh, well, since we're podcasting again, let's do this in the official podcast area. Going to camera and going to record. You've probably never seen one of these before. I'm going to send a video over to the podcast. Ready? Here's John. Where? And there's, well, I got to send it over. And there's Brittany. And God damn it, they don't look like the same person. Let's see. Did I send it? I want to say sent it. It's hard to see in here, but I want to say I sent it. Yep, little white ring. Count the rings and did you get it? No. Nope. You didn't get it? Did you send it there. to my phone? Now you got it. No, I sent it to the podcast. I sent it to the uh, messenger. So yes, I sent it to your phone. Uh Pardon me. When's the last time you went to Carl's Jr.? Don't lie. Oh God. And there's a there's a oh, there is a huh? Yeah, that's it. Now tell me they aren't like there's John. Oh. And there's 
Oh, I got to send it over. It looks like and there's Twiggy. Brittany. Brittany looks Lord. like Twiggy. You've probably never seen That's what it is. That's what it is. She does. I bet she did that on purpose. I love that the thing. Me. I love the thing in the Blues Brothers where um uh Elwood's talking to Twiggy. He's 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 kneeling down next to her in the Jaguar at the gas station. Yeah. I'm just playing right over here tonight and da, da, da. so what do you say uh meat? And she's like, "Yeah." That's it. That's all I got. Yep. Do you remember have you watched the Blue Bro- Blues Brothers? It's been a while. Know? It's been a while. You know, it's like the beginning is great and then it gets kind of just uh, I don't know, lost, I guess. No. No, it doesn't. In the, in the middle it, it kind of gets wanting for me and then at the end it just all picks up again and I'm like, yeah. I don't know. I don't I I think what it is is I don't like the part where they're Why don't I like it? Let me think about this. I guess the part where they're like at the country bar, I'm like, where? Look, just absolutely needing more plot right there. Is that what it is? It, needing more plot from the Blues Brothers at that particular. No. Moment. Oh yes, yes for me, yes. Mm. Oh yes, yes. And then, uh, you know what it is? Is that the movie starts off all gritty and dark and like smoggy and i'm like that's my kind of shit and then before you know it, they're at a country bar and it's everything's bright and colorful and then well, and then what then it goes back into they're the on gritty. a mission from god they're on a mission from god they're on a mission it's like from it's god. all bright and colorful aren't we all on a mission from god no are you sure yes okay i guess not so we won't we won't we won't claim that we won't put that on our resume we could be on a mission from Josh. Who's Josh? I I don't know. Oh, Christopher Cross, the very best of. Is there such a thing? You know, and I ride like the wind, ride like the wind. Why? But why do you ride like the wind? Something about Christopher Cross. It just makes you want to, like, take a bunch of Vicodin. No, he oh. he did background vocals on a bunch of fucking. I'll look it up. I that makes sense. That's why his uh, stuff sounds like maybe it's just all studio musicians. Besides, he he comes in and sings a little bit, like it's done by the uh, the Wrecking Crew. Yeah, do a little Christopher Cross for us, would you? Ah, and in what he's probably sold fucking piles of those albums right oh god yeah fuck that's gotta be like borderline frampton type shit they played that shit all the time my grandpa it fit for him grandpa cummings riding down to foster city going across the bridges it's evening he's picked me up summer's rolling around i know i'm gonna get spoiled and then christopher cross comes on and my grandpa reaches down and turns the radio up just a little bit (laughs) and we ride like the wind and what what does the rest of it say? I don't. I never know. Oh, to the border of Mexico? Is that what it is? I don't know. For us, it was just across the uh, uh, Sandy or what is it? not San Dimas? That's a whole other fucking. What's that bridge down there? The one that's seven miles long. Uh, oh, that's right. He did. So uh, he did background vocals for David Lee Roth on California Girls. Did he really? Yeah. I, I was just like, wow. Back when Dave could sing. Yeah. Dave could sing. He screams good too. He can't stop performing either. He can't help himself. No, he can't turn it off. Like that's it. I'm done. Three days later, I'm going out on tour again. How old is he now? Sixty. Sixty nine. No. Is he really? Uh, no, I want to say 67. You may be right. 55, 54. No, he's 59. not. He's 69. Six, is he 69? 69! You know on uh, Stern... And he's uh, not six feet fucking tall. David Lee Roth is not six yeah, feet is. tall. Yeah, he no, is. he's not. Absolutely sure he is. He is not. In his shoes... 
<laughs> Standing on his tippy toes. When he jumps off the fucking guitar riser or the drum riser, he's six feet tall. Boy, yeah. guys, he's guys fucked shit up back then. The shit they did and still had energy to play the music and sing and fuck. If you look at the picture of all of them together, yeah, he's shorter than Michael Anthony. Okay, let's take a look. And Michael, Michael Anthony is five foot six. No, yeah, Roth's not that short. Yes, he is. I've seen him. He's short. They're he's all that short. I Alex know because short? I fucking dude, I dwarf Michael Anthony. But you're pretty. What are you? Six foot one. Two. Two. Something like that. Shit. Really wrong. Look at this fucking guy. This, fucking, this guy just wants to entertain you. That's all he wants. Yeah, the problem is he can't turn it off. No, I if I get disturbed and uncomfortable listening to somebody in an interview, it's pretty bad because I have to do me all the time, and that's a lot. Let's see what we got here. He can't be that short, can he? Yeah, yeah this only this guy could get away with assless chaps. And still get laid by a girl. Boy, he looks weird now in some of these pictures. Almost like he's sick. Huh. There you go. He did the right thing by going with the short hair. Because I guess for a while he was still trying to keep the hair up. But he was like bald in the back or something. That's when you just got to let it go. Let's see here. I'm going to say this guy is in pretty good shape back then. He still is in pretty good shape. Yeah. I'm not seeing a lot of, for probably the shit they ate and the stuff they did, I'm not seeing a lot of slag here. Well, as Ron <laughs> said himself, in order to do what they do consistently in and out, he, he um, was a fucking asshole when it came to those guys having to work out you know, and be in shape. He's got an actual fucking six pack in this picture. Yeah. And he's just walking around. I don't, I don't know if he's flexing it or that'd be a lot to do all the time. I'd get tired of it. I'd be like, flex it once. Fuck that. You get what you get. But he's got an actual six pack right here. Oh yeah. He's, he's, he was fucking ripped. This is looking like maybe 81 somewhere in there. He's still got the lion's mane hair. Just taking a big old pull off a bottle of Jack right here. And see, that's the thing. If you if you do like some exercise and take care of yourself a little bit, he could they could get away with you know. Yeah, it, they did a lot of bit of exercising. Did they really? I wasn't aware oh, right. of that. Yeah, and that was that his prompting. Yeah, look good, play good. Huh? Was it like cardio stuff or light weights or who knows? Huh? A little bit of both. Yeah, cardio is the key, I think, with the live performing. Oh yeah, definitely. Because, I mean, they, these guys do a couple miles, several miles a night. Even just, um, I read the book for uh, the crusty old fuck from Rolling Stones. And he said that uh, he had on one of the things. And it's a couple miles a night. And he just so he says, I just sort of jaunt around the stage a little bit. I'm not running back and forth. He said, it's still a couple miles. Yeah. So, that makes sense. Two hours. You got a stage that's 30, 40 feet long. Running around, dancing. Running around. Yeah. Yeah. Jumping. Even, Got to take a piss. Got to go get take do a little coke behind the stack amp. Yeah, there's a there's a video of Ed walking right up to uh, this. There's a side table that has drinks on it and shit like that. Yeah, and doing a snort. Oh no, shit. Yeah, that's pretty fucking funny. You found that? That's it. That is funny. Yeah. I went and saw uh, Vince Neil Tesla. I didn't stay for Tesla. They closed the show. Jackal, they're annoying, and Skid Row in 2000 at the orange grove amphitheater in i want to say anaheim or orange grove it's right next right next to it yeah. right next to angel stadium it's like it looks like an old airplane hangar and uh what was the point to this oh the guy from skid row snake whatever his fucking name is you could tell without a doubt he was hopped up on coke because he kept walking up to the stack amp and like rocking it back and forth and then he would a couple of seconds later he'd walk back behind there and then he'd come back out 
So they were all tuned up that night. And the weirdest thing about that show was uh, Dennis Rodman came out on stage with Vince Neal. I guess they were hanging out then. Here's another picture of Roth, and he is absolutely shredded. And this one, he's in a uh, doing some type of a martial arts thing or something. And he is shredded wheat in this one. Here's one of them now. He's, uh, I don't know, a little more frail, but looks pretty good still. I wonder if they danced around as much back then as they did in the videos where Roth is jumping off the drum riser, doing the uh, the rolling roundhouse kicks with the mic stand, doing the, th what was the other thing? He would jump straight up in the air with his hand on the mic stand and do the splits in the air. That was one of them. Yeah. And then, uh, and oh, here's Nikki Six, which is leading us into our topics. A picture of Nikki Six just popped up. Um, and then he would do what, what were the other ones? Um, Eddie would do the what? Jump off the, Eddie would jump off the drum riser too. Is that? Yeah, the they all did. Mike, Michael Anthony would too. Yeah. When I saw Van Halen, which was the first concert I saw with Sammy Hagar, uh, Michael Anthony had a bass that was like a bottle of Jack Daniels or something. Yep. And he just played a really loud, obnoxious bass solo. I think he just banged on the bass a whole bunch. Yeah, pretty much. Which, what else do you do with a bass? I mean, unless you're Lee Getty or whatever his name yeah, is. Getty Lee. Getty Lee. Same thing. Same guy. Same difference. Yeah doesn't matter with that kind of a name, which one you put in front. Everybody knows who you're talking about. David Lee, Diamond Dave, who cannot shut his fucking mouth and let anybody else get a word in edgewise. I guess he was an EMT at one point, too. Yep. Just like, I don't know why, just to do it, I guess. Yeah. That's pretty cool. They got one in here that says, David Lee Roth hair. Just his hair. Let's see what's happened here over the years. So he had the blonde hair in the beginning. Clearly, there was some dye going into that. And then he had the... He, he, was, he had the teased out of all teased out hair looks, I'm going to say. What do we got here? Here he is in the assless chaps. Like it's just... Every day, just at the grocery store, picking up a couple of pounds of bacon and uh, some waffles and the eggs with the hole in the middle, and I got assless chaps on. Let's see what else he wears here. Here's the oh, here's the famous shredded up. Uh, we got a wife beater with holes cut in it, and two bandanas. Okay, and. I don't know what kind of pants ballerina pants with leather sewn onto them and the tie up the side thing and probably something jammed down the front of his pants or good for him. You know, it's funny. I was thinking about this today, you know, tool. I was never into him, but Robin got me into him for that 2019 album. I was like, this is good. And uh, so I started occasionally watching the videos online the uh, the main guy Maynard gets out in front. And he could be dressed as anything on any night. He could be dressed up as a woman. Uh, he could be a uh, a s serial killer Indian shirtless belt buckle guy with makeup on. He could be all these different characters he plays. And then the rest of the band, like the drummer, just sits back there in a uh, like a jersey of some team he likes. They don't give a fuck. They're like he dresses up so much we don't have to at all. He also doesn't um, uh, stand out in the front. He stands in the back so the band can play. Oh, he does. Yeah, so he's not he, he's not like traditional frontman type guy. He is likes to hang around the back, huh? Yeah, so he stands back. Um, he initially did a bunch of shit um, just to not even walk in front of the crowd, so he wouldn't even. Uh, give me a second here. Excuse me. He he wouldn't f stand up in front, you know, at the stage 
and sing. He would stand at the back or behind amps and stuff like that. Oh. I don't know if he still does that or not. Not in what I've seen, but I, I could see where that would be a definitely a. Uh, sorry, I got sidetracked. I, I got a picture of Axl Rose wearing a nine inch nails sin symbol off of <coughs> off of a EP put out little known EP put up by nine inch nails between the first and second album. So wasn't expecting to see that. Axel Rose didn't wear much, huh? He's like kind of the, I'm in my underwear look with a lot of bandanas too. A bit of a David Lee Roth ripoff thing. Like he's like, I'm going to do David Lee Roth's underwear is what Axel's doing here. Um, I want to talk a little bit about uh, what we got coming up. One thing we have coming up is the Temple of Set. The Temple of Set, which you can find online, which is um, Michael Aquino, who is a official government, uh, uh, high-ranking um, military officer, uh, and also a member of the Church of Satan and split off the Church of Satan to form his own sanction when he became disappointed in uh, what we now know is the fact that Anton LaVey was primarily interested in the Church of Satan as a way to monetize himself um, and collect income as, uh, as opposed to the actual research and work that goes along with um, being a devout Satanist. So... Michael Aquino being more serious about his work split off and formed the Temple of Set, which is a kind of exclusive satanic order based on a ever-changing uh, dialogue of researching all areas of life, physics, science, spirituality, on and on to find what the true meaning behind life and death and spirituality is. Uh, holding organized religion in complete contempt at all times. So um, Michael Aquino has actually passed recently. Didn't you say so, Michael? Yeah. Weren't you telling me that? I believe he's no longer with us. But the uh, Temple of Set is still alive and strong. And uh, apparently it is not the easiest thing. Anybody, anybody, you, me, the cat, the new cat can can ask to become a member and you just simply go through a simple application process. How simple it is, I really don't know. We're going to find out and you pay a fee and they evaluate you and you supposedly get a telephone call and a telephone interview. And if all goes well, which apparently often does not, uh, you may just have an opportunity to be a uh, level one um Temple of Setiar. I don't know what I don't know how you say that. Um, there's several several um, what we call <laughs> rank, <laughs> rank or factions that you can fit into depending on how advanced you are in your studies and how you interact with the group. I read and researched about it a little bit. I thought it'd be a fun thing to do as an experiment um, to find out just how hard or easy it is to become an actual uh, card holding member. I don't know if they have cards or not. Probably not of the temple of set based primarily out of uh, the San Francisco Bay area here in California. So that's one thing we'll have for you. And that will be an ongoing small part of the shows to come. Uh, we'll have updates on uh, our progress. And of course me being always, uh, interested in the occult i volunteered uh to be the one that is going to apply what do you got mike what do you what you got all kinds of stuff rolling around i'm sure there we'll are many more topics as we go yeah we just go as we go we're gonna go as we go tonight was david lee roth and the fact that axel rose saw him in his bra and panties and said that's the look for me yes yes and well, it says that Michael Aquino is still alive, but I read somewhere that he is not. Is alive. he still alive? I'd like to know. How how would we find out, I wonder? I don't think it made any right. 
I'm looking at Michael Aquino, living or deceased? Deceased. I'd say deceased, huh? Well, he would have been getting up there in age. LaVey died in 97. I want to say he was already in his 60s, maybe 50s, 60s. Yeah, I mean. I got one for you, but I, I can't find the document on my computer anymore. I'll have to go back to the Internet Archive and look it up. And it's Zena LaVey. Yeah, he died of suicide. December 17, 2023. He died of suicide? That's what it says. Really? In tragic turn of events, retired Lieutenant Colonel Michael Aquino, founder of the Temple of Set, has died by suicide. Really? That's unusual. Unless that's the way he wanted it to be. Does it say what method? Mm, suicide. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, huh. I wonder if he was ill. He may have had cancer or something like that. Right. Everybody gets cancer eventually. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. I get a copy of his death certificate. Isn't that public record? That's what I was looking for. Huh. I wonder if he was still... I don't think he was living in the Bay Area anymore. I think he moved to Scotland or some shit, but maybe not. I might be just making that up. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Littlehouse.edu.vn Somewhere I have a letter when I did that difficult website thing and I uh, typed, I did a letter to the email address for the Temple of Seth's website and I said, can I interview Michael Aquino for my website? They said, and the like one of the main guys got back to me and said, no. Yeah. So we, we had some correspondence. I said, well, why not? And it kind of went back and forth for a while. Hmm. We, you know what else we should do? Is there still a Church of Satan? Or did that go defunct? I guess there's a Church of Satan. Huh. I wonder if you can do both. I wonder if there's some kind of a penalty for that or you get disqualified. Oh, no, no, no. You're in the Church of Satan. Get him out of here. Like, apparently, like, this was just a couple, like, last month. Aquino? 2023. Oh, wow. Because you said, what was it, two years ago we talked about? I talked, to, did a little quick stint on the Church of Satan. I, I know I mentioned Aquino, and you had said that he had passed away then. Yeah. Huh. I mean, I don't know. Do you mean to tell me this whole time I thought he's dead, and then he was still alive, but now he's dead? Yeah. Damn it. I don't know. I'm. That's going to fuck up my whole day. Well, there's only six minutes left. That's good news. Well, fantastic. Well, I think we got an hour. What do you think? Uh, we're probably more than an hour in. More than? You think? Wow. Hour seven. All we did is talk shit. Once again, we promised. <laughs> right? Yep. We didn't fucking talk about a fucking thing. Well, we did a little bit. So we've got a setup now for you. Okay, so July 21st, 2020. Mm-hmm. It's it says that he died, but not by suicide. You keep changing it. No, no, he has left the physical realm, is what it says. Oh, how um, contemporary! Yes, but it doesn't. He's it, left the physical realm and entered into the temple. Michael Aquino was the other great leader of the golden age of occultism. He headed the temple of set after breaking from the Church of Satan. Namely, whether or not say it was blah, 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 blah. Tr Temple of Set was always in the shadows of LaVey's organization, and Aquino was very much a less charismatic leader. He was caught up in the satanic panic of the 80s. The satanic panic. He appeared alongside Zena and Ozzy in the, in the notorious and hysterical Geraldo Rivera special. Where at the end, Geraldo says, you know, I have it wrong. You Satanists aren't that bad after all. Literally, he does. Yep. Uh it, um, I remember actually watching that on Donahue, or no, I'm sorry, Geraldo. Like I came home after school, and I was like, "Ooh, what's this?" And watched so the whole thing. Yeah, it says uh, a statement on the temple's website states that Epismus Michael A. Aquino, PhD, remanifested from his physical body on Sunday, September first. L I V of the Eon of Set. 
I yeah, know. that's their special fucking 50, Egyptian. 54 of the Eon of Set, I guess. Uh, if you wonder how old he was. Um, well, 2020, so 47 and 20. So 73. Not, not that old. He probably liked sweets. And then some. Right. So one thing we could do on the next show, if you want, is I was actually able to procure a copy of the Book of Coming Forth by Night, which is a Quino's, uh, what would you call it? That is his, <clears throat> remember when, Al, not remember when, Alistair Crowley's wife took dictation from a demon sitting next to the one of the pyramids in Egypt. It was one of the books. Uh -huh. That's Michael Aquino's um he says he was contacted by set is how the whole thing came about and dictated uh, the book of coming forth by night, which I have a copy of laying on my desk. Hard to find, but not with the internet archive. No, no, it's not. Hmm. We didn't have a wine review tonight, but I will say I did have a uh, glass of diet dr pepper with two ice cubes and some type of raspberry vodka out of a plastic bottle from the bottom shelf of the liquor store and it was delicious there we that's our new review well fuck all right cheap drinks reviews hmm what are you looking at now? I was looking up Reddit to see about Michael Aquino. What is Reddit? Reddit. Is Just for I've read it. Okay. Okay. Uh, four years ago. Four years ago. Goodbye yeah. officially. All right. So Michael Aquino is gone. Rest in peace. This is in Satanism. Reddit Satanism. R slash Satanism. Okay. It's the fourth time I said that. Let, so, me, let me let me type it in too. I never. Heard it was that. Night, 2017. Give me the uh, Reddit. R e d. Okay, I'm on Reddit, and then I and then I have to put. Uh, Just look up Michael Aquino or okay. Quino, however you fucking say it. I don't know how to say it. <clears throat> Just type his name in. Yeah. I don't know how to spell it. A q u i n o. A Q U I N O. Where's it seeing there? Here it is. Temple Ascent. All right. So I'm looking, I'm scrolling down to. You'll just see. So it says Dr. Michael Aquino is gone. Rip. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The black magic of mental warfare. Did you have to go to the next page? No. Uh, are you on Edge? Mm -hmm. No, you're not. You're yeah. in Google. Oh, come on, Edge. Quino, right here. Uh, Encyclopedia, 1946 to... Quino... Oh. 1946. I'm looking at this one. Apparently, between somewhere between 2017 and December 13th of last mm -hmm. year. Huh. Satanic, He's, satanic cult leader. But I, I remember reading that he died yeah. a couple of years back, and then a lot of this, a lot of the fucking information has been scrubbed from the internet. Or <sighs> so let's see. They say U.S. U.S. Army career off officer specializing in psychological warfare began in 1968. Became lieutenant colonel in military intelligence. Retired. Served in Vietnam, ordained satanic priest, 1971 to 72, Temple of Set, founder and leader from 75 to 96. Also, as a caveat, member Eagle Scouts Honor Society, past national commander. That's pretty impressive right there. Writings, the Church of Satan, privately printed in 1989. 1989. What were you doing in 1989? Oh, gosh. I don't know. Skateboarding? Yeah. Oh, four years ago. 
Side lights. In 1969, one year after Michael A. Aquino, both graduated from the University of California, Santa Barbara, with a bachelor's in political science and joined the Army as a psychological warfare specialist. He joined the Church of Satan, headed by Anton LaVey. Aquino then served a tour of duty in Vietnam. When he returned, the Army stationed him in Kentucky, and he became a priest within the Church of Satan forming our grotto, a group of leaders that met in his home there. Aquino soon became disenchanted with the church, however, under LaVey's leadership. And in 1972, he, along with Lilith Sinclair, who was his wife, a church of Satan leader who eventually married Aquino, split from it. The split appears to stem in large part from the two men's conflicting ideologies. LaVey, an atheist, believed that Satan did not exist, but rather represented as a symbol of strength and defiance. Aquino, on the other hand, believed in the literal existence of Satan. And in 1975, he established a church of his own known as the Temple of Set. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty intriguing stuff. Yeah. It's kind of like Halloween every day. They use this word and everything. Zephyr. X-E-P-E-R. X-E-P-E-R. I read somewhere what it means, but I've already forgotten. No. No. But we can go through the book of coming forth by night because when I say book, it's probably 10 pages of really big. I mean, it's like reading a menu at a restaurant. Probably. It's not too terribly much... Uh, I don't think there's a whole bunch of characters in there. And if there's stuff that's boring, we'll just skip over it. Like we might go the book of coming forth by night, the end. That's my, that might be how it turns out. Oh, well, that's Satanist. So I tell you what, if you, if you go so-and-so, you know, they're a Satanist. Everybody's like, <gasps> unless you're a Satanist. Besides that, everybody else is like, Oh my God, he worships the devil. Yeah. But what would, push somebody into such a extreme hopeless act of defiance against JC and his father. JC and his father. JC. JC and his father from over there in Massachusetts. You know, they got the store with the robes and the, all the shoes, the, the sandals, you know. Temples. The Tevas, the Tevas, whatever you want to call yeah, them. You know, he's got the robes. He's got the, they, they, all of those guys got beards. They all have a beard, really long beards. You've seen them. Hippies. Contributor. This goes on and on. Oh, the cloven right. hoof. No, 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 no. What? Don't Stop. talk about it. Okay. Go to bed. Go to, go to bed? Yeah, it's time to right. go. Damn it. Okay. I guess I'm going to bed. Yeah. I got to figure out how to do a couple of things. I don't know what the fucking live viewer shit is. And I don't oh. know how to set that up. And... Well, Vaseline is the wrong pick. I'll tell you that right now. It's going to end up chafing. You have to just keep reapplying, reapplying. I'm going to recommend Jurgens. <clears throat> With the pump top. Yeah. There you go. Whatever you do, don't wipe up with those rags that you get at the uh, auto parts store, the red ones, because they have oil in them. They don't tell you that, but they have a very thin coating of oil in them. And I don't know why, but they do. They'll just dry you out, be cracking. <laughs> Look at that guy in, uh, you ever seen uh, um, uh, Never Ending Story? Remember the no. guy that, remember the rock guy? Yeah. Yeah, you'll end up looking just like that. In your jock, so don't do it. The Vaseline, don't do the Vaseline. The Jurgens is fine. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, good. The Vaseline needs a rubber. Right. Yeah. What? What's a rubber? Rubber. Oh, rubber. Rubber. Gotcha. Like rubber buggy baby bouncers. Like Say rubber. That. Rubber. Rubber oh, baby buggy bunch. Well, uh, told you. You did it slow. Try it fast. I did. Rubber, I can't. I can't even get the first word. I can't, even, baby buggy I can't even get through the second <laughs> syllable. Of, you know, that was good. I wonder, I, what other, I wonder what other kind of sweets and junk food I could find in the fridge right now. I don't know. I'll report back to you on it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Very good. Not a bad start, even though all we did is chippity chip. Yeah, we just bullshitted. 
jibbity jab jab. That's okay. We can have one of those. Yeah. What are you going to call it? I don't know. End I recording. Uh, end, end recording? Yeah, it's going to be called end recording. <laughs>